Hey there fine people, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do some fancy chocolate nails and this is for an Instagram YouTube crossover hosted by um, Allie here on YouTube. Her um, handle is Allie's Manny's and on Instagram it's Manny's for Allie. And uh, this month's theme, as I said, was fancy chocolates, which uh, is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. I don't have any candy related uh, plates or anything. And I don't know. It, we'll see what happens. So, um, and I don't have any brown stamping polishes. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, or off-white stamping polishes. We'll see what happens. So, um, first, my idea is that I want like an off-white base, and I don't have—I don't even have any off-white or ivory. Should really get some. I have a like a milky ivory, but uh, I don't think that's what I want today. So. I'm going to mix up some white and tan here. Hopefully I didn't get too much tan. And let's see, I need a, a towel. Yeah, that's a little bit. Too much tan. So let's add some more white. Um, and I should get some gloves on. The fifth pulse is the brand name on Amazon. It was like five dollars for fifty um, pieces. I guess that's probably not fifty pairs. It's 50, so twenty-five pairs. Anyway, they, these are the worst. Although I'm surprised um, they didn't rip when I pulled them on this time. It's like some kind of miracle. Okay, is that light enough? So I have really liked these canny polishes, um, and the swatch video I did of them is like one of my highest viewed videos to date. It's HEMA free, and somebody commented the other day that, how did I get them for that cheap? I got them on Prime Day. And they were under ten dollars for six. I think it was probably six ninety nine. And in that video, I was like, I got these so cheap. They were like five bucks. Um, they're they're not five dollars or or even seven dollars anymore. They're eighteen dollars. They do have a a coupon, uh, I think 10% off or $3 off, something like that. I'll link it down in the comments or down in the description. Um, the thing is with these, I've been really impressed with the coverage. Um, if I'm doing some nail art, I do not need two coats. I just haven't needed two coats. It's really, um, it's really heavily, highly pigmented. So I like it. 
Um, the way my nail beds and whatnot are shaped, um, and then with my gel overlay that I use to protect my genetically inferior nails, uh, I need really thin press-on nails to look even reasonably good. And uh, if I have to put too many coats of the gel polish on, uh, the nails get bulky looking really quick and sit away from my nail bed and my cuticles and stuff in a really unnatural looking manner. So I'm all about thin press-ons. And I'm not skilled enough to do nail art right on my nails. Kudos to those of you who are. Okay, that's the base. Let me just let it. So this is a, I'm getting a little thinness here. When I apply it with their brush, I never have any problems. But once I get some nail art on there, that's, I don't think that'll show up at all. All right. Um, those. Okay, this is Fenelisa No Wipe Top Coat, and they are a sister, parent, some kind of related company to um, Candy. going through my plates. I don't have a lot of candy related plates. Uh, so this is going to be a challenge to see what I can come up with. Uh, I saw I had these. I don't even have any um, brown stamping polish. So um, yeah. I tried it once. Oh, that's way too much off.
Okay, I'm gonna let those rest for a minute. And so I had an idea I could use this abstract one to kind of mimic some chocolate. This one is gonna be really hard for me. The only brown I have is this. So I'm back. Um, I mixed this custom color up yesterday. Just wasn't feeling it on all of the nails. So I've got some new tips here. And I'm gonna do gold on one, like a gold, you know, candy wrapper or a gold box. And brown on one. And red glitter on the thumb. That'd be like a red candy heart box. Probably should have used a red base coat on that. Because two coats and it's still a little bit translucent. Okay, I'll just put a top coat on these. I really like this red from Nicole Diary. Um, it's a tiny bit translucent, but still pretty intense. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a perfect red jelly for stamping and other things show up through it. Like I did um, some emoji nails last week and I did it over some cat eye, and the cat eye showed up through there. I thought that was really pretty. It was kind of on accident. Well, it was 100% on accident. At this point, you'll notice that um, there's some nails on the stand that I didn't show um, the stamping for. I ended up not liking how they looked, and went in a different direction. So rather than have you sit through a video where I don't even end up using the final product, uh, I just removed that, se that section. Right, I'm just not feeling it. not even sure how to do this so I'm just uh, gonna give it a try um,
things are sliding. See that? That's, that's my problem with this. Okay, this is a builder gel. I think it should be thick enough. And just like yesterday, when I was making the base, that's way too much to make. Don't really have, I don't have any off-white. What I'm going to use now is just a really cheap old base coat uh, just to give these parts something to stick to. Thank you, Allison of Manny's for Allie and Allie's Manny's on YouTube for this prompt. Uh, it was 
challenging for me. Uh, and that's a good thing. I started this hobby because I wanted to learn how to do nail art. And part of that is not necessarily buying a new stamping plate anytime there's something I want to accomplish. So finding ways to do the art without a stamping plate is part of the goals that I have for myself. I hope you enjoyed my chocolate nails. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. You enjoy nail art collaborations? I love them because one, they give me ideas that I wouldn't normally come up with on my own. And two, they help me stretch out of my comfort zone. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.